Hi friends and welcome back. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Longmeadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire. I come to YouTube twice each week, every Sunday, with a worship service for the entire church family, and I hope you join us at that one. But I also get to come here every Wednesday and talk to the children of our church. That's why I'm here today, and I am back here because they are still working <laughs> with Jackie and Janet, who are part of our Christian Education Committee, and they are working on another project. And I was wondering, can you tell us what you're working mm -hmm. on here? Yep. Well, one Christmas, I made these, what are called gratitude jars for all my nice. grandchildren, and I did them the colors that they all like a different color. So this one is purple and green. Um, and there's a poem. So, so what does it say? It says, think about what you are grateful for. Note your gratitude on the slip of paper provided. Keep it in the jar until you feel the need to read your notes to remind yourself that you have many things to be grateful for. Keeping a gratitude jar is one of the most powerful things you can do. All you need to do is set aside a few minutes each day to remind yourself of the joy and miracles in your life. So this goes inside the jar so okay. people understand what the jar is for. And then okay. we are supplying all kinds of um, decorations. Oh, okay. So what do we have over there? Oh, we've got ribbons and some chenille and some little flowery things. So there's all kinds of different, different colors and stuff like that. Right. Yes. We also have a lot of stickers that are self-adhesive mm -hmm. that we're going to put out and hopefully we'll get some buttons. Okay. Um, but you can deck, and I did, I just glued some cloth okay. onto this yep. because I think it's colorful. And we have yeah. lots of cloth that we'll, you know, we'll cut out. We'll leave some cloth as well. And so when you put it on the jar, and we're going to be cutting these little um, slips to put into the jar. Okay, so they'll already so be they'll paper already in there. So there'll already be paper in there. Okay. So each jar will have paper, and everything will be in a basket organized for people to just, you know, if they have a favorite color to take or whatever. Okay, so these will be upstairs mm -hmm. for people to take. And this is like what you were telling us last week you had... Uh, lessons yes. to go. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Yes. Well, we were thinking of lessons Bible that we used to teach in Sunday school, but mm -hmm. a lot of children are home with their families or their grandparents at the time of the week, so we wanted to provide lessons so that you can read through. They often have um, some scripture in it or a Bible verse or a game or a YouTube that you can refer to for that particular lesson and the activity. We try to make it fun, yeah. and then we know that you can adapt it for the age of the child that you're working with. But these I like, uh, I love a lot because adults can do these too. Absolutely. They're, you can make a pretty jar and you can put in um, the notes, like you were saying, oh, yeah. that you're grateful for, but a lot of times it's looking at things that you love, experiences oh, and, yeah. um, uh, people and um, different things that it just helps you to think about the way God loves us and that we experience so, love. So, so what did you write? I down? wrote, I love that I got to spend Saturday with my whole family at Fratello's. And so I'm, you know, you can fold them so nobody can see them or you can put them in there. Right. What I like about these though is if you're feeling down or blue, take out your grateful jar and read some of them and remember you know, who loves you, um, what you're grateful for. So that's mm -hmm. just an extra added attraction on, on these. I also, um, when I researched, there are two books on for children about the Grateful Jar. Oh, okay. And we're hoping to purchase a couple of books, but they're on YouTube being read. Okay. So when we do our bags, we will um, put that information there. And you know what I can do oh, wow. on this video? I can put a link to that video. Yes. To that video. Right. So if you look in the description down below, you will find a link to a video about these grateful right. jars that can show you a little bit more. Right. About and them. there, there are two of them that different authors wrote about a grateful mm -hmm. jar, mm -hmm. um, and they made them in school. So I think that's, that's a really added attraction to our little lessons. And so what kind of, what are you well, putting I in? Well, I started out, I love, I was <laughs> trying to think of experience, but 
lately, I just love when my sons visit with their cats and oh, dogs. No. We don't have a pet right now, <laughs> and I just love their cat, and I always try to convince my son, well, maybe you should leave her here an extra couple of days, because we really enjoy um, the, the cat, yeah. their pets. Yeah. And, and um, you just are really thankful that they bring them, and you can have a cat. Right? Yes, like, Even yes. if only for a few days. Yes. And, you know, years ago, when my father-in-law was turning 90, we made a big one and we sent these slips out to all of his children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and had them write down a memory that they had with Pa, which Very is what fun. we all called yeah. him. And we said, you know, and we wanted to make sure that we had 365 oh my gosh. of them. But he's a big family. Yeah. Um, that we had 365 so that he could pull one out every day mm -hmm. and see how people the things people remember doing with him. Mm -hmm. And he told us after a month, he says, I couldn't wait, I've read them all. Oh, no. <laughs> because it made him feel so good. And loved. Yeah. And loved knowing the memories that yes. he had made with his children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And, um, and you know, it's interesting, because you call in these grateful jars, but the word that I keep hearing over and over again is love. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the fruits of the Spirit that is mentioned in our scripture. And that one of the fruits of the Spirit, in fact, the first one that's mentioned is love. And I think it's, it is that love and how love makes us feel that leads us to feel that thankfulness, to feel mm -hmm. that gratefulness, because we want, we are so appreciative of that feeling. And so, this is a wonderful way that you can remember the love that you've said, and you can pull these out like my father-in-law did when maybe oh, you're not having a good day. Mm -hmm. And you can pull that out and remember that dinner that you had or that time that they, your sons came over and they brought the cat over. Yeah. And you can remember how that made you feel. And you can remember that love. Mm -hmm. Well, in the, in the book, and I'm not going to give away the whole book story, but one little child didn't feel that loved and felt miserable and people you know he the teacher said well pull out some of the things that you put in before yeah. that show you how you were loved and then mm -hmm. he was happy yeah. you know so so it's a great it's, it's a yeah. great tool i think it's our favorite pro one of our favorite projects yeah i i think this is a great yeah. thing and i hope if you are at church that you will pick one up and it doesn't matter how old you are yes um pick one up and start a gratitude jar in November with Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. That's our theme all month. All month long. And so we want to find ways of helping you to remember how loved you are and to help you find a way of showing how thankful you are. So would mm -hmm. you all pray with me? We will. Move our jars. <laughs> Loving God, I am so thankful for these disciples who want to share their love for you, their love for our children, and their love for our church. And we ask that you bless them and you bless all of the people who take these jars, the children and the grown-ups, and help them to remember all the ways in which they are loved. Because when we remember how loved we are, we can't help but be grateful. Amen. 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 So I am grateful for you. I love coming here each week. And I'm so glad that you're here joining me. Come on back next week, and I look forward to sharing more about the fruits of the Spirit with you. Until then, my friends, remember, I love you very much. And above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Okay.